How do you know your dog loves you? In his book, How Dogs Love Us, author Gregory Burns says that, although he spent two years training dogs to go to an MRI so people can study their mental behavior, there are some simple clues to find out how your beloved little Bow Wow feels towards you, without a complex medical procedure. So, I set out to see if my three-year-old yellow Labrador named Violet passes the test. One, your dog cuddles up with you after eating. It's no mystery that dogs tend to be motivated primarily by food. But Burns says that once the dog has inhaled all of its kibble, its next impulse will determine what is most important to them besides eating. So does your dog want to go outside and play alone, or snuggle you after its meal? Normally, Violet needs to go to the bathroom immediately after breakfast, but dinner is a different story. If I'm on the couch, she's there too. Although I wonder if it's just to con me out of my own dinner. Two, where does your dog sleep? This is a topic of controversy among dog owners. Many insist it's a bad idea to let your dog sleep on your bed. But Burns argues it's a good test of your dog's loyalty because it will want to stay with the pack, so to speak. Of course, even if my wife leaves for work before I get up, there's still not enough room on the bed for my stretched out dog and myself. Does your dog freak out when you leave? If the answer is yes, Burns actually says this isn't necessarily a sign that your dog loves you, but more of a sign that it has separation anxiety. If your dog willingly goes into its crate or otherwise is accepting of you leaving, then it means your dog loves and trusts you enough to be confident that you will return. Thankfully, Violet passes this test, at least today. 4. Does your dog freak out when you get home? Burns says your dog loves you when they try to jump all over you upon your arrival, even after they've been fed. When it comes to Violet, there's no question here. Do you love your dog? Because that would mean it would love you back. Well, let's see. We're willing to spend an arm and a leg when our dog eats something she's not supposed to and needs to go to surgery. We deal with massive amounts of dog hair all over everything we own. And every time I get low to the ground, there's a tongue in my face. So, it's safe to say this fifth one checks out as well. My takeaway from all of this? Gregory Burns' test helps me confirm that I don't need to give Violet an MRI to prove that she is glad to be in our family.